Once upon a time, there was a baker who owned a shop in a small town in America. Unfortunately, the baker was not a kind person. He never gave his customers more bread than what they paid for, and he never smiled. However, he was exceptionally skilled at baking. His bread was incredibly soft, and his cakes were delicious. People from all over the town would come to his shop because they could smell the enticing aroma of his bread and cakes as they walked down the street. Some customers even started eating their bread and cakes right there in the shop. However, there were also people who didn't enter the shop but stood outside, simply enjoying the tempting smells and looking through the windows. This bothered the baker. He thought to himself, they are getting a free whiff of my bread, and I'm not getting anything for my hard work. He wondered if there was a way to capture those delightful smells in bottles and sell them, just like he sold his bread. One winter morning, while the baker was in his shop preparing bread, he was feeling grumpy. He complained to himself about having to wake up early and the cold weather. Suddenly, he noticed a young man in old clothes peering through the window. The man seemed hungry and was smelling the fresh bread with a smile. This made the baker very angry. He thought, that thief outside my shop is enjoying the aroma of my bread without pain. It's like a free breakfast for him while I get nothing for my hard work. The young man stood still, savoring the scent of the bread in the air. When the baker saw this, he walked over, opened the door, and shouted at the man, demanding payment for the stolen smells. The young man, surprised, asked why he should pay. He explained that he was only enjoying the free air, which is available to everyone. The baker insisted that the air was not free when it carried the smells from his shop. He threatened to call the police if the young man didn't pay. When the young man refused, the baker grabbed him by the coat and dragged him through the snow to the house of a judge. After a while, the judge, dressed in his night clothes, opened the door and saw the baker and the hungry young man outside. The judge was curious about why they had come so early in the morning and invited them inside. They all sat around a table, and the judge asked the baker to explain the situation. The baker shared his story about the young man stealing his smells, and then the young man explained that air is free for everyone to enjoy. After hearing both sides, the judge remained silent for a few minutes, contemplating the matter. Finally, he made a decision. The judge turned to the young man and asked if he had any money. The young man showed the judge a few coins, explaining that it was all the money he had in the world. The judge asked for the coins and held them in his hand. He declared that the sound of money would be the payment for the smell of bread. The baker eagerly reached out his hand, expecting to receive the coins, but the judge surprised him. The judge returned the coins to the young man and told him to go home. The judge believed that the sound of the money was the fair payment for the aroma of the bread. The baker was no longer smiling, and the judge dismissed him. And so, the poor young man left with his coins, grateful for the judge's decision. After the judge's decision, the atmosphere in the room became lighter. The baker, although disappointed, couldn't help but acknowledge the fairness of the judge's ruling. He realized that there was more to life than just material gains and that generosity and understanding were valuable qualities. As the young man left the judge's house, he couldn't contain his relief and gratitude. He felt a sense of justice and an appreciation for the judge's wisdom. With the coins in his pocket, he knew he could use them for something meaningful in the future. The baker, on the other hand, stood there silently, reflecting on his behavior and the consequences of his actions. He started to see the importance of treating others with kindness and respect. From that day forward, he vowed to change his ways and become a more compassionate person, not just an excellent baker. Word of the judge's decision spread throughout the town, sparking discussions and debates among the residents. It became a story that illustrated the power of fairness, empathy, and the value of simple pleasures.
people began to appreciate the delicious smells from the baker's shop even more, knowing that they were a reminder of unity and understanding. The baker's shop saw a surge in customers, not only because of the mouth-watering aroma but also because the townspeople wanted to support his newfound character. The baker, now wearing a genuine smile, greeted each customer warmly and took pride in providing them with more than just bread and cakes but also a sense of community. Meanwhile, the judge's decision had a ripple effect beyond the town. News of the unique ruling reached neighboring communities and even made its way to distant cities. People admired the judge's unconventional approach to justice and the lesson it taught about the intangible value of experiences and shared moments. The story of the baker, the hungry young man, and the wise judge became a cherished tale told to children and adults alike. It served as a reminder to appreciate the simple joys in life and to consider the impact of our actions on others. The townspeople embraced the importance of empathy and fairness, creating a stronger and more harmonious community. And so, the once grumpy baker's shop transformed into a place filled not only with the aroma of freshly baked goods but also with the warmth of compassion and understanding. The town, inspired by the judge's ruling, experienced a positive shift that would be remembered for generations to come.